Hey everybody, my name is Kedemar. Welcome back for a new series of Star Wars Republic at War, which is an expansion or mod, for, uh, direct mod from the, the original game, which is Empire at War. Now, if you guys don't know what Empire at War is, it's basically a strategy game all about Star Wars. It's basically like a Total War game when you think about it, but uh, with a little bit more touches and... A little bit more differences and you're gonna see why in a minute um, I really like this uh, this game uh, Empire at War but I like the mods a lot more boys and I wanted to I checked up the the mods that were actually working when I was loading the game up again and Republic at War is one of them now not exactly my favorite but it's still a really good one nonetheless I really wanted I, I started playing this game a lot boys I said you know I don't have any game right now to play why not having uh, like having this game right now would be pretty good until I've got like spider-man that's coming up uh, f next Friday or something like that so let's play this game boys um, we're basically gonna be the Republic versus the CIS during the Clone Wars now uh, we can either do the Clone Wars which I want as much planet as possible boys so it's either the Clone Wars, the Fall of the Jedi, or From the Ashes. Now I'm going to explain to you all of them. Clone Wars is the regular one that you see in the movies and in the shows. Well, more mostly the movies because this uh, comes around the movies more than the show. The sh it was the, this was made before the shows. Uh, there's another Clone Wars uh, thing, a, nat a natural Clone Wars mod, which you have everybody in there, ex including Asajj Ventress, Savage Opress, Azoka Tano. You got all of them. But in this mod, it's more about the movies. So anyway, it's a Clone Wars. It's uh, the regular stuff that you see. And Fall of the Jedi is actually uh, around the time that the Jedi are gonna about to fall. It says it. So it's around... a. It's around the time of uh, Order 66. So you're going to have the transition of the Republic into the Empire. And you can only play as the Republic. You can say, I can't, I can't play as a Confederacy right here. And from the ashes is basically, uh, you really form up as the Empire. Pretty much, uh, you're just the newborn Empire. You're still called the Republic. But this should be a, good, a, a little transition or something like that. So what I want to do is I wanted to play Fall of the Jedi boys uh, just because we got the little transition or stuff or stuff like that. Or maybe I should play Clone Wars, I'm not entirely sure just yet. I am playing a sub mod of this game which is a 1 second uh it's a what's it called? 1 second 1 unit, I think it's called or something like that. Basically, it lets you you're going to see in a minute, boys. I'll show you in a minute. But we're going to actually play the Clone Wars as the Republic. Uh, good old Republic. And um, it's going to be pretty easy. We're going to have a lot of Jedi. As you're going to see I can build. We're going to start up all the way from uh, tech level 5 from the beginning. I'm going to do a little bit like Attila and cheat. Uh, may, cheat my way through this game a little bit. Because I want it to go as fast as possible. So, uh, because I won't have that much time until uh, Spider-Man comes up. So, let's do this, boys. Let's start up the game first off. Now, over here, you can see the objective, basically. So, incoms incoming transmission from Mace Windu, my boy. Uh, the Clone Wars, the lines have been drawn. The Clone Wars have begun. Many systems have fallen under the sway of the elusive Count Dooku and his confederacy of the ind independent system. We must preserve the integrity of the Republic. All systems aligned with the Confederacy must be brought back under control and the Separatists must be eliminated from the galaxy. So the goal is to simply have the entire map belonging to us. That's the main goal, boys. There's nothing else to it, uh, really. You cannot win the game if you kill Konduku or any other heroes in that matter. Uh, as the heroes, the heroes, if they die... They come back over time. As you can see, what's going to happen here is um, I'm going to have to uh, deal with all the ships I've got to build and everything. I'm going to have to build a lot of stuff. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing, boys, 
is I'm just gonna end up uh, I'm just gonna put this sh these ships in here for f uh, for now as well all I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up eventually having to check up on all the planets make sure they've got the, the enough defenses and everything so this is gonna take a while boys and I'm just gonna skip uh, forward uh, right now uh, all of this all right and I'm gonna see you guys once uh, all of it is done basically I'm starting with the dockyards and afterwards I'm going on the bottom on the land and uh, yeah basically this is going to take a while because it, there's a lot of stuff to build but as you can see everything costs only one unit the reason why is that because it's uh, it's the basically the, the mode I have on the mode I have on permits me to, uh, to get that so I'm pretty much OP at this point I can pretty much do whatever I want so that that's why it's like that there we go we got this now not sure what I'm gonna do really we do have uh, Tatooine over there I don't know why we have Tatooine under our control boys don't ask me I really don't know uh, some of the things though that I really want to do is I need to uh, recruit these soldiers for sure these soldiers are gonna be really important to recruit uh, uh, earlier on there we go let's just recruit this turbo lasers are always important in this game boys gotta make sure that you do build them there we go we do have these guys right here which is our pirates basically it's basically the huts uh anything else i gotta build not any closer so kashik we've got this done on the ground we're good here let's actually recruit a bunch of wookies since it's a it's a simple unit that you can actually recruit from a, a planet in itself. So might as well do it. Green var. We're going to get all this. There we go. Now over here you can recruit Kit Fisto. So that's what I'm going to do for sure. There we go. And over here you can recruit uh, Luminara Unduli and Shock T as well. So that's really cool as well. There's a lot of places like this, plan certain planets that you can actually recruit some Jedi's and stuff with, uh, and heroes and that's really cool boys, I really like it. Like over here, Elia Sakura, uh, we got her. We're gonna get a bunch of Jedi's, we're gonna get as much Jedi's as we possibly can. They're not that good in the game itself, but it's still pretty cool to have, you know, so just gonna keep... Uh, having them anyways even though they're not that good doesn't mean that I don't want to have them there we go so we got that Barris Ophi right here that we just recruited I think that's pretty much all the Jedi's you can actually recruit in this game or in this mod there we go so what I want to do as well I want to make sure that I've got that I want to recruit as much unit as possible over here on Yavin same thing goes for him now i can't move him up just because uh, i don't have what it takes there we go i don't have what it takes to recruit him or anything now i can recruit a couple of ships with uh, for him so that's what i'm going to recruit a i'm going to recruit a fleet for um i'm going to recruit a fleet for my uh, for uh, kid fisto so they can go over here invade these places uh over here as well i need to make sure that camino keeps producing a couple of units there we go the special units and everything uh we're gonna recruit a bunch of soldiers like always i do need them to have as much you uh, like ships as possible to protect themselves there we go actually while i was doing all of that actually i didn't even do any transition boys so it went better than uh, I expected that's for sure they didn't even, didn't even have to do any transition that's pretty cool all right so we do need to continue building up our armies uh, building up our fleets and our armies you need to continue doing that um, one thing that I gotta tell you for sure boys I already pre-recorded this and this is the second time I'm recording this because the first time around it actually crashed. 
That's why I'm doing this pretty fast because I already did this once. I know exactly what to do. There we go. I know what to build as well. So you guys, if, if you you see me what uh, what I'm building right now, I'm building a lot of stuff. I know already I gotta build a bunch of these because I know that somebody's gonna try to attack probably a Brigado raid. That's what they did last time. It made my game again crash. Afterwards, I, after I finished up like building uh defenses uh, after i finished up defense uh, def defending my place i can't talk right now so yeah what i want to make sure is uh that i got everybody up in here i've got a big army i want to make sure that really do have a big army uh, when it comes time for the jedis because the jedis need to have an army to protect them we're gonna have a uh, shipyard. I don't know why I didn't have any shipyards right here. That was pretty weird. There we go. I'm gonna have them having a bunch of. I don't need that. A bunch of ships to protect them. Uh, I need to pause the game really quick because. How many ships do I have? I already have three of those. I'm gonna have another one just to make sure I have a couple of frigates. We're good on that. For Camino, I think we're good on Camino. Let's continue building ships though. Really important to do that. We're gonna create, uh, there we go, we're gonna do a bunch of ARC troopers and stuff. So over here it's good. What I was originally doing for this place is I was splitting the army in two. So basically I was doing this like this right here. There we go. And a couple of soldiers right here. I was doing this like that because um, I needed to recruit. I need to have two armies and stuff. I think this fleet is actually good at, uh, on its own right now. So this fleet's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to wait for my armies to get done, boys. I'm waiting for my armies to be complete. There we go. Just really waiting for my armies to be complete right now. Okay, we're good here. We don't want Palpatine in. I think we're good enough on, with what we have here. We just need more uh, more army, a bigger army for the one of Yoda. For Yoda's army, we're going to do that uh, this because we need to make sure that we do have what we need. Okay, there we go. And I'm keeping him here. Uh, hang on, there we go. So I'm keeping uh, Palpatine, of course, on Coruscant because he can't fight anyway. So he's pretty much useless. I have my two armies. The one with Obi-Wan and stuff is a little bit less, like, uh, less challenging, less uh, intimidating. But that doesn't matter too much because it's still a pretty good force nonetheless. I do need to continue building up my fleet over here because we're going to need to use it to attack Monolith and Megiddo over here on Yavin uh, I need to continue building up these building up my uh, my army same thing goes for this guy which I can, uh, he can actually build a bunch of good armies a good fleet and good army really gonna need to focus on this guy on uh, Kit Fisto so what do we have uh, do we have anything in particular that we could build over here nothing really just a bunch of clone troopers like always we're going to stop at uh, right now at there okay i think we're good i think we're good enough to start attacking boys now of course my army is not finished uh, on top right there but we're going to we're good enough to do our first assault which we're going to send this guy over here uh, what did I tell you? All right, I already defended this place. I lost this time around. Didn't want to do the battle again. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save the game. Every time there's a battle, we need to save the game. We're gonna delete that. We're gonna do let's play. There we go. Let's play. So we're gonna save the game every time after uh, after we're done with a battle because. You never know when it can crash. It happened to me already once. 
Don't want it to happen again and lose everything again. So don't want that to happen. Making sure to save the game. All right, the game is saved. Let's send... Oh my God, they're already invading me. Yeah, they didn't waste any time. They've got five tanks, eight assault droids. Yeah, they, did, they really didn't waste any time, boys. Well, you know what? Let's defend it. Let's defend the Brigado Ray. Uh, what I wanted to do originally is to... Well, I want to send the army of Plukun over here. They're going to invade Bestine first. Uh, they do have a big uh, fleet, that's for sure. And I need to build up my fleet, boys. Uh, that's why. That's what I wanted to do first, but it doesn't seem like they really wanted me to do that. So, did they arrive? I don't even know if uh, she arrived, like Baris Ophi. She did. So why don't I? Why am I? Am I not seeing her? I don't know why I'm not seeing her uh, on the top of the cards, but oh well. I need a lot bigger fleet like this fleet the thing is the problem with this fleet is I can't actually build up any f like real uh, cruisers or, or real flip like uh, stuff I can only get the best I can get is a frigate I can't get any acclimators and stuff like I can't get like venators capital ships so that's the one thing that's not good right now I need uh, I need a better thing than that. A, a bunch of cruisers should do the job right here. I think my army is good enough as it is on Mount Calamari, right? I can't even see it, but I think it's good enough, boys, at this point. So we're good. We're building up, building out our fleet over here as well. I think we're good enough everywhere. I'm gonna continue to build up these places, the the places where we know. We uh, can build a, a better pay, space station. We're going to do it. Just going to check everywhere just to make sure. I think we're good everywhere. Yeah, I think we're good. Rendili the, uh, can build one, another one. And so does Karelia. All right. And Kuwat as well. I don't know why Kuwat. It shows that it can build another one. But it does not give us the options. So. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Was pre uh, doing the wrong thing. Oh, there we go, boys. This right here, Bride of the Core, Star Dreadnought. This is going to do a lot of damage. I'm actually going to put it with the fleet of Plo Koon. All right, let's do the battle already. I'm wasting enough time. All right, let's do the battle. This is our protection force. We already have a couple of Torpor Lasers. Like, my planets are really well defended, boys. I really don't... I really don't worry about anything at all. I really don't need to worry about anything. Let's actually go over there. It doesn't want to go there. Well, oh well. Let's go over there. I want to send my troops over here. While I'm capturing this zone. Which I can't do for some reason. I don't know where they are. Actually, the troops. Because they are invading me. But I don't know where they are. Oh, there we go. It's just doing it pretty... Uh, there we go. I'm gonna need to send these guys over here. There we go. We got this place up. Oh, everybody's... They're all here. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got everyone. So, all my troops, I want all of them over here. I do have my turbo lasers getting rid of them. Oh, hang on now. There's a battle... Battle droids right here. We can press space to enter in uh, cinematic. There we go, you can see right here. And we are victorious. That was pretty easy. They didn't actually land their, their tanks in there, which was their, mis their biggest mistake. They only landed one uh, battle droid. There we go, we're going to land a couple of tanks if we have time. There we go, we're going to have plenty of time to defend this place up. I'm going to send Plo Koon right here. I'm going to send this guy right here. Now, of course, I do want to continue building up this fleet. More of that. Uh, more of that. There we go. I need to continue building up the fleet. We're going to attack Frisia in a minute. Uh, I think I've got a good enough fleet now for this. So that I can really do something significant. Maybe a couple of dreadnoughts again. And afterwards, we should be good enough. I'm not completely sure about the army though. So let's just continue to build it up as for this guy his 
is ready. So we're going to see which one is best. Okay, so this one, the, the, arm, the fleet of Kid Fisto is uh, ready first to attack. Let's do it, boys. Actually, I cannot save the game. Hopefully, it doesn't crash or anything. Uh, Min Twin. So we're attacking Min Twin. They do have some sort of fleet. Let's attack it. We're in orbital space. We've got a lot of ships, boys. Enough to really deal a lot of damage to the, uh, these guys. And they, don't, they won't know what's coming to them. They really won't. Look at all these fighters I'm, I'm producing right now. It's ridiculous. These, uh, the fighters in this game, uh, this game, boys, are really like OP and stuff. And uh, you don't want to mess with the fighters, that's for sure. The, the, the more fighters you got, the best you are at protecting yourself and at basically the, defeating the enemy. The fighters are the key to success in this game, I'm telling you right now. There we go. There we go. We got this. I'm always doing that first. Always moving the fighters up. Using all the fighters at the same time. To defeat the enemy as much as possible. Before you moving my troops. My actual fate. Uh, because they c the fleets. They can get a lot of damage to themselves. Pretty close. So I don't want to do anything stupid. Yeah, let's move these guys up. Come on, move up. There we go. Now, now that I'm gonna have everybody here, I can actually tell them to go over there. And now that they're good enough on their own, I'm gonna tell my army to move up. All right. So my fleet. Let's see what we got. Let's move them up. And all right, pa uh, not pause the game, but make them uh, choose a target so they do have a couple of fleet uh, ships but nothing too serious what we want to do is to make sure to get the hangers if they do got uh, got some let's get the anger or maybe the shield generator first yeah first thing we're going to do get the shield generator there we go boys let's get in there get the shield generator boys there we go now that's what I want to see boys. I want to see the shield generators going down. And you can see basically we can destroy a lot pretty quick. We can really destroy a lot of uh, uh, infrastructure and stuff pretty quick uh, in this game. You guys are going to divert to actually attack these guys right here. Attack the ship. I have so many like fighters and stuff that... Really, they can't do anything. And if I, if I deal with the angers, it's gonna be even better, uh, like even better for me. Really, I really need these guys to start moving up. Don't know where they are going exactly, but they're taking their sweet ass time. And uh, this is why you want your your planes to go in first, uh, your fighters to go in first, because they can really deal a lot of damage uh, really quick. So that's what we want to do. Look at this battle. Cinematic mode is... Cinematic mode is the best thing of this game, really. It's unbelievable. It really feels sometimes like... You get really good spots where you can really watch a good... Uh, good stuff. Alright. Defeat the Angers. We're almost done with it. We got another Anger right here. So we're going to focus on that Anger. My fleets are coming in. Got a lot, a, a lot of ships, boys. Uh, a lot of fighters. So we're going to send them over there, too. There we go. A lot of fighters. I can tell you that. Holy. The amount of fighters I'm producing is ridiculous, almost. There we go. So I'm producing so much fighters right now. It's unbelievable, really. Okay, we're almost there. There we go. You can see all my f my fighters going in, boys. It's really unbelievable. And that's my second round of fighters right here. Really my second round of fighters, so... Really, they, they won't know what's coming to them. I already almost destroyed their entire angers, all their angers. So they really can't do anything. 
But uh, they still have a bunch of uh, missiles and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I actually did destroy their their hangers. So the only hangers that's left is probably for the ships and stuff, which I can deal easily with the um, my own fleet. I can deal easily with these ships. Uh, there won't be any problem. I really want to just make sure that uh, to destroy this. There we go. All right, you guys. What you're going to do is you're going to start focusing your firepower on these guys. The rest of you, like the, uh, the rest of you, you're going to continue to move up right here and circle them. My fle uh, my ships are doing their work right now. They're doing a pretty good job, I got to say. Let's actually start attacking uh, the ships themselves. I don't know what does what, so let's try out the special so-called attack right here. I don't know what exactly that's all about. Okay, there we go. Let's attack these guys. There we go. Attack, attack. We're going to focus our firepower so that we do a lot more damage quickly. Let's attack uh, this turret right here. Destroy it. There we go. And as for these guys right here, I do want to attack this this particular person there we go we're good boys we're doing great really doing great you need to start attacking uh, iron batteries for my fleets I'm gonna ask my the ships that can do it to to attack on target to attack the planes to prevent as much damage as possible to my own ships there we go I've got so many ships, boys. I like their their own army, their own fleets are no match to me. And that's really because I know it's pretty much because I'm OP at this point. Because uh, you know all the all the damage, all the all the money I I, I have, and uh, the um, like the cheat code basically that it costs only one. Of course, it helps out a lot, you know. Uh, I do need these guys to start having a little bit of like moving in in the fight and stuff. Don't want them to just sleep on everybody. Do you have a couple of things here? I think we're done pretty much. It's only this really. Yeah, I think we destroyed the the rest of the fleet. Most of the fleets. It's only this ship remaining. Got to make sure to destroy the engines, boys. Come on. There we go. The engines is destroyed. You can't go anywhere. Uh, he's going to die. Let's just move up. Let's just finish this already. There we go. We are victorious. We won this battle. Another battle won for us. Well, another battle won. It's actually our first victory, but you know what I mean, boys. Let's uh, move over there. So there's nobody in Frasia. We're going to move the army over here. Uh, and over here, we got our fleet done. I think our fleet, yeah, is good enough. What we're going to need to do is actually defeat these guys up. Uh, move them out of the way. Yeah, we're going to need to move them out of the way. Defeat their fleet, actually. We're going to need to do that. And let's see what else we need to do. Okay, so they're not there yet. Uh, Kid Fisto is there. And as for these guys, uh, I'm actually moving up right here. I'm going to actually do the battle with Kid Fisto. So I want to do the invasion of Mintwin. I do need to save because you guys need to know the policy by now. I need to save every time I, I do a battle. All right, it's saved up. Let's go ahead and do the battle of Mintwin on the land and uh, attack them, I guess, with Kid Fisto. Uh, it should be easy. They, the biggest unit they've got is actually planes. Uh, aerial units which are pretty annoying in this game but w when you have a Jedi that can actually stop these planes it's actually uh, better so let's just get Kid Fisto on the way right here actually we can't do anything we just gotta wait until we got the position there we go so we got this we're gonna get more troops actual tanks and more troops there we go I want as, as much troops as possible. Now we're going to wait for everybody to end up here. There we go. And we're good. We're good. 
So they're already forming up. I can already see them. There we go. There they are. It's actually not troops. They're actually just a couple of uh, a weird tanks. I don't know what they are. They, they look like tanks anyways. Okay, let's... We're going to move these guys up right here. Move these guys up. These are platforms that you can actually take position of. This is Blue, uh, Kid Fisto right there, boys. I want to see him. Oh, hang on. There's a battle coming in right here. I'm going to have to take care of them with... Uh, there we go. I'm going to have to take care of them with my Jedi. If there's destroyers like that, you want to take care of them with the Jedi. You're going to be better off if you do that. Now there's a lot of soldiers in there. You can see a lot. Uh, that's a lot bigger, like, much bigger f army than the one that actually invaded us. And uh, I, uh, Abrogado Ray, I think it was. There we go. Attack them. We got the big battle going on right here. We got Kid Fisto, so we're good. Got a member of the Jedi Council. I mean, we're doing way good. So first push. There we go. Defeat all of them. Easily. Now they are going to try to attack us, I think. That's what it looks like, at least. They, they're getting us from behind, but I'm attacking them with my turrets, so we should be able to defeat them. There we go. Defe oh, they're going to just... Alright, they're just going to do that. They're just going to uh, basically re uh, su have a success in defeating us. Now, this is the place we got to destroy. We're going to move up right there. They do have something over here. I'm not sure what it is. Perfect. I've got a couple of armies. We're going to just speed up time because it's going to take a, a, a while for my the armies to move in. Where are they? They're right here. Let's attack them, boys. There we go. And next stop, it's over here, actually. Where are they? They're coming in. There we go. Let's attack them. With the f like with the army I've got and the Jedi, it's pretty. It comes pretty easily to defeat them. It comes pretty easy. Let's defeat them. Let's go. We're gonna actually uh, speed up time because it's gonna take a while to just ta chase them. Actually, you know what? Let's not chase them because otherwise it's gonna take way too long. There we go. We do have a bombing rung available, which I'm gonna use right now. All right, everybody, finish them up. There we go. Uh, finish them up. We're good. We're gonna just move up right here. We're going to use a bombing round on this thing right here. So we're going to have a bunch of uh, a bombardment basically that's going to come in here. We got a destroyer right here. Take care of it. There we go. Got to take care of the destroyers, boys. As you can see right here. There we go. I think I destroyed it. Nice. I did. I did destroy it. So that's... That's good, boys. They did to uh, take back this position, which means I don't have any reinforcements now. But they're actually like, yeah, they're they're moving away. They're going away. So, yeah, we won. We won. That was a pretty uh, easy, uh, easy battle, I gotta say. And we are already there for the battle against uh, this invasion right here. Already there, so we can do that battle right here. I'm actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's do the battle. We don't have a choice. It's a big battle. They've got a lot of ships. I have a lot of, ca well, I have seven capital ships. They've got one of those. So they're actually going to get pretty much destroyed. So um, I can actually auto resolve. I cannot. All right. So I auto resolved. I'm going to have to redo everything. I don't know how I managed to to lose that that's a little bit ridiculous where did it go i'm getting attacked on megido oh that's no no it's not an attack that's just me attacking them i actually won the battle that's good all right what i'm gonna do boys there we go form up right here form up right here can actually move up now boys uh what i'm gonna do 
is I want to see where's my fleet at. Completely disappeared. All right, my fleet completed, uh, completely disappeared. I'm gonna have to rebuild one. I'm gonna have to uh, make the pride of the core go there as well. There we go. Just make every ship go there, I guess. And the rest, boys, I think for the rest, we lost a brigade at Abergade Array, but that's because I didn't do the battle. If I had done the battle, we would have won easily. I don't know why we didn't actually, like, actually won. That's pretty weird in itself. Let's go to build this up. Build all of this up. Actually, can build a lot of good ships in here. Did we lose anything? Not too much, so we can actually, uh, we're good enough as we are. Next target is going to be Raxus Prime. There's, uh, it's going to be uh, to the, the liberate Abrogado Ray as well. Uh, with the Pride of the Core, it's going to be pretty much easy. We're going to actually take up Frieza as well, or Frasia. Uh, we're going to take Megiddo up as well. Megiddo is going to be ours. And a lot of stuff that's going to happen in this video, boys, uh, in the next video. A lot of stuff. So I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe at the end of the video. Keep it easy, boys.